Hello and welcome to another edition of Cirque Insider. Today we're interviewing Susanna Bianco from O, a synchronized swimmer, and we're gonna get Willie today in the water. Yeah, 59 degree water. It'll be great. I can't. I'm, I bet my flexibility would be great with that cold water. No? Oh, the opposite. <laughs> <laughs> Seeing you upside down is gonna be amazing. Uh, so, all right, well. Here we go. So we're here with Susanna today, a good friend of mine for seven years. You're in O as a synchronized swimmer. Can you tell us where you're from? I'm from San Jose, California. And when did you start synchronized swimming? Started when I was eight years old. Can you tell us a little bit about your competitive career? Sure. I went through um, all the national championships, the world championships, my five-time world championships, where it culminated in 1996 with an Olympic gold medal. Wow. So you have an Olympic gold medal. Yes, how many? Do. How many Americans for the for synchronized swimming can, can say that they have that? Ten of us, because we've only gotten the gold medal once, and that was for the ninety sixteen. Wow. So not since then. Right. Pretty impressive. So can you tell us about your experience at the Olympics? Ah, oh, the experience at the Olympics. It's it's something that is so defining in your life and. When you're an Olympian, it's that that moment can never be taken away from you. And the experience there was living moment by moment, and you have to draw everything in because this is the one time it happens. But for some people it happens more. But this was my my one experience that it happened. A lot of life is like that, though. Now, how did it feel to be up on that podium and to be in front of thousands of people on U.S. territory with a gold medal around your neck? It was amazing. There was 15,000 people in the crowd and the roar of the, the sound of the audience and watching the flag go up and taking stock of this is happening, this is real, and this is the moment it's happening in. To take stock of where you are can give you memories and I can go back there in an instant and I can feel what it feels like and I can see the whole picture in my head. It's a beautiful moment. Wow. So how long from the 1996 Olympics, um, right after winning, did you receive a phone call from Cirque? They contacted me a few months later. They sent me an audition letter. So we're having an audition. It was down in Santa Monica at the Kidam tent on, okay. on the pier. And I didn't really know what Cirque was, and I didn't wasn't familiar. I hadn't seen a show, but it sounded interesting. So um, actually, a little group of us went. We went down there and went through the audition and it was the oddest thing I had ever been through or experienced. We had to sing and sit in hoops and whistle like birds and climb ropes. We had to do dance auditions, which as a synchronized swimmer, it's really not my forte on the land. Um, they, we had a swimming portion. So in the swimming portion, you know, of course I felt a bit more confident and comfortable in there. So shortly after that, they offered me a job with Cirque. And they said, it's in Las Vegas, there's a pool, we're building a show, and we need synchronized swimmers. That was pretty much the exact parameters that I joined with. I had no more information than that. <laughs> wow. Yeah, so was... you're pretty much signing your life away. Right. Hey, hopefully this works out. <laughs> really? In Las Vegas, a show? Yeah. So that, yeah, those were the parameters I had. We had six months of creation in Montreal. We had pools there that we worked in. We had all kinds of different things that we engaged in, we staged generally with the house crew. We met all kinds of new people and started playing with new apparatus and we were flying and we were just introduced. They needed to see what we could do. And I think part of the creative process too was we need to see what we can do. And we had to deconstruct our competitive uh, in the box thinking and we were allowed to think outside the box and it was so liberating. Now, from, from your world of competing to now performing on stage, mm -hmm. how is it different? When you're performing, you have the opportunity to be able to express and to give and to move people. Where in, in competition, you are limited. So, for me, being able to stand out, even still, after 13 years, I walk up to the edge of our stage every night and I, I whisper under my breath thank you as I bow because they're here to watch me but I'm here to give to them wow. and I can do that for 
1,800 people twice a night. So tell us what it's like to work for Cirque du Soleil. It's an amazing company. Yeah. We're surrounded by um, people who are like-minded and when you're with like-minded people it can give you the environment that just elevates everyone and everything that you're doing. They give you opportunity to play, which I think is an essential part of working at CERC, is that we play. We are, we laugh every day. Every day at work we laugh. So it's, a, it's an environment that fosters creativity, it fosters unity. So do you have any words of advice for somebody that's looking to, to join either Secret Swimming or even join Cirque du Soleil? Uh, be yourself. And when you're auditioning for Cirque, you have nothing to lose. You have everything to gain by being anything that you want, giving anything you want. So just go and do whatever you have inside, let it out. Well, very, very interesting. Very interesting to find out like more so of the background of, of where you came from, as opposed to seeing just what you do on stage, because okay. it's it's truly phenomenal. It's my this pleasure. Is Jana from up. All right, I am here with the lovely Susanna, and we are going to do some synchronized swimming in uh, substantially colder water than she's used to. Yeah. What are you used to at O? What's 88 degrees. 88 degrees at O. All right, we're going to be about 30 degrees Ugh. colder. So it'll be okay. fun. I think we're about 58, 59 ish. Good times? Good times. All right, let's mm. do it. All right, Susanna, let's acclimate the body. What? <laughs> Upside down for that, obviously. Yeah. No. Okay. This will be on the surface. Okay. Upside down is nice. Oh, okay. Okay. <laughs> All right. Okay. Okay. Lay out. Lay out, my back. Yep. Horrible. I look like a dork. Four, 
<laughs> this is how we stay warm in the water. Yes. Actually, I should be behind you. <laughs> <laughs> Not that I have any sensation. <laughs> okay. So I'm gonna now keep in mind, like you said, I'm very good. I can do a nice handstand out of the water. In the water, I feel like a fish out of water. I just it's warm. All right. <laughs> Absolutely can't do it. I could okay. I could paddle like you know any two-year-old can, like this. As soon as you go upside down, though, I go straight to the bottom. Yeah. You have to find out where you are in space. It's like floating. I can't believe how high you keep your body out of the water too when you're underneath. Doing it since I was eight. So all right. Well, Susanna, thank you for embarrassing me. Make me sink to the bottom and look like a rock. <laughs> It's been real. <laughs> Let's go warm up, huh? Thanks for joining us on another segment of Cirque Insider. And as you can see, Willie is freezing, <laughs> but he got a chance to learn what it's like to be a synchronized swimmer. I truly have a new appreciation for synchronized swimming. I've seen the show, uh, oh, obviously, and you see these beautiful feet and everything, but you don't appreciate what's going on underneath the water. The way she, she just, I don't know how she does it. Well, and so effortlessly. Effortlessly. And she's so high. It's, it's almost like she doesn't even have to think about keeping herself out of the water because she's thinking about second nature. Yeah, that's right. exactly right. I'm I'm thoroughly impressed. And she did it in 58, 59 degree water yeah, today. That water she's used crazy. to 88. She was a she was a real trooper. Thank you, Susanna. And join us next week for another edition of Cirque Insider. Welcome to another uh, in Wow, really? You that <laughs> Go ahead. I mean, you did this. Damn. Right. Action. Welcome to it. Uh, really? Just finish that. Yeah, we're done with that. Action. <laughs> Thanks for joining us again for another segment of Insert Insider. One more time. Get the name right. Insert. Insert. He's the one that's cold, insert. not you there, Lispy. Insert the insider. <laughs> insert the insider. <laughs> 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 Thanks for joining us in that, <laughs> that. Mind you, you can't tell how cold the water is, but it's about 60 degrees. So this is gonna be very good.